David Benavides has a dilemma and it involves a decision he needs to make and a decision he needs to make soon. And in this video, I'll break down the two choices he has for that decision. And by the end of this video, I'll give you my thoughts on what choice he should make. Let's do it. David Benavides is the WBC super middleweight interim champion. He is also the mandatory challenger for the WBC title which Canelo Alvarez holds. And Benavides recently moved up to the light heavyweight division to take on Alexander Vozdik, which he dominated and beat him. But this has caused a dilemma. After the Vozdik fight, the WBC have slot him into the mandatory challenger position for the light heavyweight division. However, the WBC have now given him an ultimatum. Option one, remain in the light heavyweight division as the mandatory challenger for the WBC title. Or option two, move back down to the super middleweight division and maintain the mandatory challenger status for that division. Either either, you can't have both. As of Friday the 28th of June 2024, David Benavides has been given a two week extension by the WBC to make this decision. Okay, so let's delve further into the two choices he has. So staying at the light heavyweight division as the mandatory challenger for the WBC title, you'll need to wait for Bivol and Better Biv to fight for the undisputed title before being able to challenge one of them. If he's to remain the mandatory challenger for the super middleweight division, he will need to take on Saul Canelo Alvarez, the undisputed champion of the super middleweight division. If Saul gives him a chance. So taking in all this information, now I'll give you my thoughts on the two choices and the decision he should make. So he's been the number one contender for two years. However, he's only been the mandatory challenger for eight months, a little over eight months. So people have waited a lot longer to fight for a title and been the mandatory challenger for a lot longer than eight months. So that's not too bad of a wait at the moment but Canelo also doesn't seem to be budging at the moment to give him a shot at the title. For Benavides to stay at the light heavyweight division as the mandatory challenger for the WBC title, he still has to wait for Bivol and Bedeviv to fight. And the winner might not even fight him. So the winner after that fight will potentially have three more challenges other than Benavides to claim a stake at the title. So for him to wait it out in the super middleweight division, I think is a better option and it will be worth the wait because it's a much bigger fight than Bivol or Bedeviv if he takes one of them on. Definitely more pay-per-view buys for Benavides versus Canelo. Also, how long will he wait to fight the winner of Bedeviv and Bivol? They're only just now fighting for the undisputed title. Once one of them gains the undisputed title, they'll have three other people potentially wanting to fight them who are also the mandatory challenger in their respective sanctioning bodies. So the wait could be a further eight months or more. And hey, if Canelo doesn't give you a shot, move back up to the light heavyweight division. It took him one fight to gain that mandatory challenger status for the WBC title. So I'm sure it's not going to be too hard for, for him to gain that status back if it's only taken him one fight. If Canelo doesn't give you a shot, move back up, have one or two fights and you'll probably gain that status back again. So that's my thoughts. That's my opinion on the matter. Tell me what you think. Comment below. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Also, if you have a spare 40 minutes, check out this video I recently created on the late and great blood and guts warrior, Atura Thunder Gaddy. And if you enjoy it, let me know. Until next time, peace out.